this. This is the piece de resistance. Really? Mm hmm This doesn't seem like all the others. No, it isn't. After a while, Cam stopped reading the comics from the big three and started getting into the independence. I think this was the book that started that trend. The art, the storytelling. I think it just resonated with him. It's the story about three couples. A young couple just starting out, a middle-aged couple, and an elderly couple dealing with the turmoil of their adult children. That's how the story intersects as they pass each other on a Sunday drive. This is not what I was expecting from a comic. A graphic novel. Well, that's what's great about this medium. You gotta think of it like a movie on paper. No budget constraints, no story constraints. The subject matter can be about anything. And that's why I think Sunday Drive in particular struck a chord with him. Opened his eyes to art, storytelling, even music. You can take that home if you want. What are you doing Saturday afternoon? Nothing I want to be doing. What do you have in mind? Oh, there's another spot that uh, Cam liked to frequent. You want to join me? Think of it as a field trip. Okay. Hey, long time no see, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, how's the vinyl collection? It's good, good. How's uh, Lulu and the kids? Everything's great at Casa Dub Ben. Mm. Matter of fact, Lulu was just telling me that we need to invite you over again. This time, Sans hook up. <clears throat> so this is Emily. Emily, this nerf herder here is my old friend Ben. He knows everything there is to know about music from the 40s through the 90s. Just don't ask him about anything after that. A bunch of soullessness is all it is. Yeah. Anyway. It is nice to meet you, Emily. So, what can I do for you? I thought I'd bring her by so you could impart some of your musical wisdom upon her. You have fallen for one of the classic blunders, my friend. Don't bring beautiful women to my shop with the intentions of getting them back. <laughs> The part where I get to tell you that she looks exactly like Anna. Oh, that would be dumb and insensitive. I'm just saying. I can see why you like her. Well, oh, it's not like that. She's just going through a rough time. I'm helping her out. Okay. I'll play along. Maybe some wine? Uh, beer's fine. 
I gotta say, your place is different than I expected. <laughs> then again, you're a little different than I expected. She's beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. That is Connie. We were uh, engaged to be married. Oh, wow. I didn't know you'd been married. Uh, it's just that uh, she was diagnosed with cancer pretty soon after we got engaged. I'm so sorry, Mike. That's, that's fine. I, I really should put that picture away. It's just hard. No. Only when it's time, I guess. 